If you remember video number two, then you'll recall that the definition of a simple graph is as follows. A graph G is an ordered pair, V, E, where V is a set of elements, usually considered to be finite, called vertices, and E is a set of two subsets of the set V, and those are called edges. To take a look at a really small example, let's say that we have the graph G, which has vertex set X, Y, Z, and edge set given by two edges, say X, Y, and Y, Z. Now remember that we often use the shorthand just X, Y without the extra brackets to represent that same edge. Let's draw this graph. We'll put down three vertices and we'll label them X, Y, Z, and now it's really clear where to put the edges, one between X and Y and one between Y and Z. Notice that this graph has no multiple edges, which are edges that all go between the same two vertices, and it has no loops, which are edges that go from a vertex back to itself. That's what's known as a simple graph, any graph which does not have either of those things. This definition of a graph, which is what we've been using, is often used in textbooks and in research papers whenever simple graphs are being considered. And in this channel, we have been just considering simple graphs. Actually, a viewer had a good question about that. Since E, the edge set, is a set, it cannot, by definition, contain multiple copies of the same edge. So how do you define a graph more generally that's not simple? That's a really good question. And in fact, there is a more general definition of a graph in the case that you're not just considering simple graphs. More generally, a graph G is an ordered triple, V, E, and F, where V is still a set of vertices and E is still a set of edges, but F is a mapping from E to the set of possible end vertices. In other words, F maps each edge to a set of endpoints. We say that an edge E is incident with a vertex V if the vertex V belongs to F of E, where E got mapped. Now that sounds a little bit abstract, so let's start by looking at an example. In our example, we'll take V to be the set V1, V2, V3, and V4 and E to be E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Notice that I just have a set of E's. I don't know yet where they are in the graph. Now, we have a mapping F, and we have to explain how the mapping F maps each edge to some set of endpoints. So F maps the first edge to V1 and V2, and F maps the second edge to V1 and V2. Next, F maps the third edge to V2 and V4. The fourth edge gets mapped to V3, V3, which is just V3. And finally, the fifth edge gets mapped to V2, V3. Let's draw the graph. So we'll put down the four vertices, V1, V2, V3, and V4. And now we put in the first two edges. Notice that they go to the same end points. Next, we put in the third edge, which goes from one side down to the other. And now the fourth edge was a funny one. It goes from V3 back to V3. And we can conclude by putting in the fifth edge. So that's the graph. Clearly, this graph is not simple because it has a multiple edge and it has a loop. The function f, which tells us how to map our edges to our vertices, is called the edge endpoint relation. Notice that if f is a mapping which is not injective, i.e. not one-to-one, -one, then there exist two edges, EI, EJ, which are not equal, but which get mapped to the same endpoints. That means that G is a multigraph and EI, EJ are called multiple edges. If you'd like a further discussion about injective mappings, mappings that are one-to-one, -one, then check out this video, which is all about graph isomorphisms, which are in fact injective mappings. If E is an edge, which gets mapped to only one thing, under the mapping F, then that edge is called a loop. If either a loop or multiple edge occurs in the graph, then that graph is not simple. Throughout the videos on this channel, I will usually assume that the graphs G are simple graphs, unless I explicitly say otherwise. So the straightforward definition will usually suffice, but now you know how to define a graph more generally than before. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and remember, working with graphs is fun. Check out these related videos, and I'll see you next time.